Hey everyone, my name is Faison and today we're going to be reviewing the Canon Rebel T6, also known as the Canon EOS 1300D. Starting off with the build quality of this camera, um, it's held up pretty well for me. I've had it for almost a year now and I've had no troubles with it. Um, yeah, it's made of a um, plastic shell and then there are some parts where there's a leather grip which makes it really comfortable to hold. Also, the LCD screen is bright enough that I can see it in most conditions outside, even in like really sunny and uh, bright uh, areas. Um, this is an 18 megapixel camera. Um, it has a great autofocus feature for uh, taking photos. I'm able to capture some nice bouquet and blurry backgrounds. On the contrary, for video, um, the autofocus feature doesn't work as well, and uh, for that reason I have to switch it over to manual focus, so that's kind of annoying. Also, um, for video makers especially, there's no um, there's no audio jack input, so basically you can't record audio with the camera. And the built-in mic is kind of like, it's not as good. So I mean, for that reason alone, I am recording on my smartphone rather than this. So my favorite feature of this camera though, it has Wi-Fi slash NFC um, capabilities. Basically, um, there's a application that goes uh, with the camera. It's called Canon Camera Connect. And basically, you download that, you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi on this, and then once you open the Canon uh, Camera Connect app, you're able to do this live view um, mode, which basically allows you to see what's on your camera to your phone and control it uh, with that. You're able to change some of the settings and um, yeah, this is helpful because you don't have to buy like a separate remote. You can just use your phone. Um, also, you're able to transfer images really easily through the app. So, um, so the price for this camera is um, like 500 bucks, more or less, depending on where you buy it from. Um, I feel like this is a high value product because it has a lot of cap a lot of features and like capabilities for a low price point, such as autofocus, uh, Wi-Fi, NFC. Also, you can record fairly good video with it, um, and yeah, I feel like this is really good for a lot of beginner photographers. Even in 2018, I feel like it's a really valid product. You're like, this has some really good quality, and you can take some really nice pictures. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below saying what I should do next. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and um, yeah, thanks a lot.